Hey, 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 it's time for book reviews! Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's vlog for the Warhammer for the Thousand Gaming System created by Games Workshop based in the UK and welcome to book review number 23 Today I'm gonna be reviewing the book Des Descent of Angels written by Michel Scanlon and let's check out uh, what this book is all about Des Descent of Angels the next installment in the groundbreaking Horace Harry series, telling this tale of the civil war that nearly tore the human imperium apart 10,000 years ago. This novel explores the dark and mysterious history of the Dark Angels, Legion, and their primarch, Lion L. Johnson. When the imperial fleet rediscovers the planet Caliban, the emperor is reunited with his missing son, the primarch, Lion L. Johnson. As the Dark Angels old and new join the Great Crusade, a chain of events is set in the motion that will change Caliban, its people and the Legion forever. Uh, so this is book number 6 in the in this series and I put it on hold as I wanted to explore the other books first. This is kind of like, uh, I will get back to that why. Uh, is and it's it's an origin 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 story uh, about the upbringing of Lion L. Johnson uh, on the planet of Caliban. Uh, as the book came out right after Fulgrim, which is one of my f still favorite books, uh, it haven't been well received by many of the readers for several reasons, and I can understand why they don't like the book for just those for just those particular reasons. Uh, but at the same time, this book is very much needed for a scene setting. So the first first issue of this is that it's falling far behind in the timeline, taking place about 60 years prior to the even, prior to even that the Horus Heresy has begun, uh, and many feel that it's so distant from the main story. It's an offshoot, to say so. Uh, I personally have no problems with it, uh, which I should point out. I, I think it's it, it's um, nice with some uh, off pointers that doesn't have to take place in the current event. Just uh, just uh, just as long as they have a point to, uh, to tell that they have a point in the whole thing, and I think this actually do have that. Uh, we follow. Uh, we follow two young boys who are the main characters by the name of Zahariel and his cousin Nemiel. They aspire to become Knights of the Order, uh, which is an, a knightly order on Caliban. And we follow their paths as they try to become great knights, just like Lion and Luther. Luther is uh, another important character in this story and he serves as the second in command to, to the lion who has grown to become the uh, Grand Master of the Order. Uh, after a hard struggle and uh, a few quests they manage to become uh, invited in after they finish their trials. Uh, this is where we come into the next issue which happens to be the characters which many of them are where we can uh, paint out where we can make out that they are very typical cardboard cutouts. Uh, our main character, and, and let's see if these pictures which will appear right here on the screen looks familiar in the description. Our main character is described as a Mary Sue, as he has very few, few uh, flaws. Uh, uh, this, this particular part about the Mary Sue doesn't apply to about the pictures which will appear. Uh, but. The next following description will. Uh, he's a young boy who's set up slightly as a chosen one or on a small scale with some, something special that others might not possess. Uh, his cousin is a slightly jealous companion who uh, constantly competes with the main character but still likes him as a good close friend. Uh, then we have a mentor by the name of Sar Amadis. Uh, which Sahariel looks up to, only to see him die and give him a quest for Sahariel on his own to force him into adulthood. This death has been displayed in uh, several other cases uh, where the main character is forced to let go and move on and pretty much, yeah, grow up. 
Then we go into the next character, which happens to be Luther, and he's the caring adult with an hidden motive. Uh, just like Snape in the Harry Potter books, but unlike Snape, it's switch around, where Snape is a good character, but he acts evil. Uh, Luther is an evil character that acts good on the, outs on the outside, pretty much. My, my own issue with, the, with these boys is that they is that they're supposed to be boys, but the way they talk, they don't sound anything at all like boys. They sound too smart and intelligent to be considered in the age of 15 or younger throughout the story. And that's that's a thing that bothers me. And the, the, book, the book setup is also a bit strange and weird. The first 70, 70 to 75 percent takes place on Caliban prior to the arrival of the Emperor. Emperor. And this book is kind of special in that way because this is the first time we get to see the Emperor on screen in one of the novels. Uh, the authors has been very afraid and modest about including him in the stories with, with the exception of just description of him from a third point of view rather than an actual uh, screen appearance. Uh, yeah, the last part takes place on a random first mission to pacify a planet. Uh, the, the mission itself isn't that uh, special and has, doesn't have a greater importance on the overall story, but the action which the characters do on that mission is what's symbolic and very special, so we will get back to that later on. Uh, when you read this story it's very important that you know that the the background of the Dark Angels before reading it. Uh, they, have, they were known past as the only loyalist legion which, which split into, into two fractions where half of their number rebelled against the lion and in that case also rebelled against, against the emperor. Uh, but they didn't, they didn't join Hor Horus and his rebellion but they sort of formed their own. The, you know, they sort of formed their own. Uh, now, as the, uh, now as the series progressed, we know that other loyalist legions have also have traitor fractions in them, uh, but they are not as big as the Dark Angels had. Uh, but th this is the strong point of the book. It managed to paint up a scene with the splinter that is divided the legion in two halves. So that's that's why this book is very important. It sets up that thing that will return in every other Dark Angel stories from that point of view. Uh, it also starts out painting up the lying as a mistrusting character uh, as he trusts no one after being erased alone in the woods of Caliban for his first years as an infant child. The lore of the lion is pretty special as well, as he's, as no one knows his goals in the whole in the whole heresy. Uh, there have been many theories and speculation that he was a bench warmer and only waited for the winner to, to. He only waited to see who was the winner in the heresy, and then he would be picking sides. So that that's why he never arrived at Terra. To, the emperor from the traitors when they stormed the imperial palace. Uh, the, the next thing which I'm going to talk about is just a small nitpicking, and it's a positive thing which I might add. Uh, uh, Scanlan, the author, uh, added another character in this book, a, a human remembrancer by the name of Rihanna. She only appears in the later parts of the book and has a very small part in the whole thing. Uh, but in those small parts, he managed me to get invested in character. He made me care about her, though that I don't know much about her. And it's very, it was very sad to see her tragic ending. So I would say that's a good thing from which the scandal managed to do. So this book, it has its flaws, mostly the characters, and that it's doesn't take place where you might think it would take place, but it also is very important as it serves as a scene setter. Uh, for, and it's not that bad to read, it's a, very, it's a fun read, but it's not the best to say so. Uh, so what do you think Descent of Angels should get as a, 
have as a grade, and I think the best grade for this book is 5 forks out of 10. Uh, it's recommended, it's very needed, as many of the Dark Kinder stories depend on this one, as it is the start. Uh, but yeah, that's everything I have for this book review, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos, please give a thumbs up. And also leave comments on things I'm doing good so we keep on doing them. And leave negative critique on things I'm doing bad so we need to improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if you think they could use some... Uh, yeah, if they want some look into the books and maybe some inspiration on what to read and stuff like that. But then that, thank you very much for watching this. For the Lion and for Caliban. Bye.